What's up, guys? Welcome back to another mukbang. Today I made some yummy. Gorditas de chicharrón and they're flour gorditas. So they're different from the other ones, the fried ones. I saw um, Claudia and her mom made some um, on, on Claudia's channel and they look good, so I wanted to try them. So I made some chicharrón. Has some, I made some chicharrón and some um, pork. Um, pork meat in here, and then with some black beans and a little bit of cotija cheese. Okay, and then, so let's just dig in. Should I bite it? I'm try biting it. Mm. Oh yes. Oh my god. It's the first time I make chicharron like this. Like chicharron in that red salsa. And I need to go grocery shopping, but I really just threw like a whole bunch of like chiles and whatever I had in the fridge to make a salsa into the salsa for that chicharron. I've never made it like that before. And I'm so glad that I threw whatever I threw in there because it tastes exactly like the chicharron that they used to make um, some, my, some tacos, like my favorite taco spot in Cali. So now I know how to make it home. Mmm, this is so good though. So I was watching, um, I found a new mukbanger. Um, she's not new though, she looks like she's been doing it a while, but she has, she does mukbangs with her, like, her daughters. And... She gave me an idea for a story time. She was just talking about how, um, cause her day was going pretty bad. So her and one of her daughters that she's doing a mukbang thing with <clears throat> had to go they were getting ready to like do a mukbang, their mukbang for the day, but they had to go pick up the rest of her kids from school. So they were just going real quick, and since she, they were getting ready for the mukbang, like she left her. her phone at home. And long story short, like she ran out of gas and she was left, they were both left like on the side of the street. And that reminded me of the time that um, I had to, that was left on the side of the freeway after work, had no phone. Okay, so. At the time, it was, this was back when we were living in Cali. I was pregnant with Isaiah, and I was working at Quiznos. And it was about 20 minutes away from where we were living. And, um... The way Jonathan and my schedule were set up is we set him up to where as soon as he would get off from work, I would go into work and that way he could watch Isaac. 
And, um, ooh, look at that. And I would take the car to work. And so, the car that we were using, because Jonathan's car was messed up, it was when he had his BMW, and that car would mess up all the time. I freaking hated that car. And, um, his car had messed up again. So we are using his dad's truck. His dad had just bought this truck, used, and it was messed up too. So we had to be careful with it. And just recently, we had gone out, like a couple nights before that, we had gone out grocery shopping, I believe. And, um, We were in the parking, in the parking lot of the grocery store, about to leave, and the freaking gas pedal just went all the way down, and it was just all loose, and we stopped running, obviously. Jonathan fixed it with like, um, under the hood, the actual thing that like connects to the gas pedal and makes it like run when you push it had like snapped so he tied those pieces back together with like it was some sort of string I don't remember if it was like a shoe string or something like that but that made it, the gas pedal was really hard but you couldn't press on it. it it was really hard to press it down but you had to be careful with the amount of force that you put on it because then it, it was gonna snap again So when it was my turn to go to work, I was like, I was so scared because, like I said, I was pregnant. I didn't have, I didn't have a phone. I had a phone, but it wasn't connected, so I could only use it on Wi-Fi. And I told Jonathan to take me. But then I think we ended up him not taking me. I think I had to do something with Isaac. But long story short, I ended up driving and I drove it drove perfectly fine to work. Had no issues. I was just going really slow on the freeway. I was going like 30. And then, ah. yes, yes, baby. Yeah. You woke up, Zaya. Yeah. Why? Yeah. yeah, baby. So I was able to get to work and then I got off work and I took Jonathan when I was getting off work. Yeah, I was on my way home. And I think I was off like at four, if I'm not mistaken. Some sometime around there because it was still day out, thank God. But um I I texted him letting him know because I had there was Wi-Fi at my job. So I text him, I'm on my way home. And um, so I'm on my way. As soon as like five minutes into the driveway, I mean into the freeway, freaking gas pedal bre um, breaks. And I was like, no, 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 no. I started freaking out. It's in Cali. It was in the summer, so it was freaking hot. And I 
was freaking out. And I'm sitting there and I can't sit in the car. So what I did is, I turned on the hazards or whatever, the lights. And I started walking. Now, if I couldn't walk backwards, like against traffic on the freeway, so I remembered that on the next exit there was an AM PM, but this was out like in the boonies. That the exit that the next exit was like the boonies. And now that walk. I'm gonna have to walk to that A and PM and just, you know, see if they let me borrow their phone. If not, you know, I can buy a water there and there's like a way to like a back road to um that I can just walk down to get to to the house. And um So I walked, I was walking on the little side of the freeway and it was so dangerous, you guys. There was like big trucks passing by and like I said, I was pregnant. And then, and then some guy pulled over in like a white van and he was like, do you want to ride? And I was just too scared to say yes. I was like, something in me was like, no. So I was like, no, thank you, it's okay. I was like, I'm just getting off on this exit. Don't, I was like, don't worry. And he's like, okay, and he kept driving. And it was like a good, the next exit was like a good 20 minute walk. Mom, Mom. I was burning up. Mom, I have more tortilla, please. More tortilla? More Okay, baby. I'll give you one right now, okay? Mochi. Mm. Yeah. Here. What? Mom? Get the mom. It was like a good 20 minute walk to to the exit and then I still had to go down the exit and another like 15 minute walk to the A and PM. I get there and the lady was like, I asked her if I could use her phone and she's like, usually we don't let, you know, people borrowed the phone but like I was all red I was pregnant so I guess she felt bad for me so she was like but sure I use the phone and the thing about Jonathan and I and pretty much all of us we don't answer numbers that we don't know so I was praying that he would answer I called him once he didn't answer Like I said, it's already like a good 35 minutes, so I should have been home by then. So I called him again, and he answered because he was like, he thought, he, he did think maybe something had happened or something. He answered, and I was like, yo. I was like, come get me, I'm at this AMPM, you know, so-and-so happened. And he's like, okay, he's like, just wait there. I was like, okay. I bought myself a big old water, and I was just sitting outside of the AMPM, freaking dying of heat, drinking my water. And then I, I would take snacks to work, so I I was digging in my backpack, getting some cookies to eat the cookies, and then he got there, he picked me up and went home, and then he had to come back and see if he could fix the truck. But that is the time that I walked down the freeway, you guys, pregnant, in the freaking heat, I swear it was like 90 degrees that day. And I had no phone, I was just freaking out, it was horrible. It was a really bad experience, but thank God I was safe. Yes, baby. It's locked. I got home safe, but Jonathan was like, yo, like, why'd you walk? And I was like, I had no phone. What do you mean, why did I walk? I had to walk. Yeah, baby. But after that, I made him drive me until we got the car was like, fixed, fixed. Yes, baby. It's locked. Do you want me to go open it? Okay, baby. All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for watching me eat. Um, that was freaking bomb. Um, if you guys want like a recipe on that or know how to make it, let me know, and I can definitely show you guys how to make it because it was delicious. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Say bye, baby. Bye. <laughs>